I was sitting here putting on my bronzer and I just took a gander at Amazon and these are back in stock. You, they get, they ship out, I think February 3rd, but you can still add it to your cart. And the other ones are back in stock too, ready to ship today. Um, so I'll circle the one that I have. It's second on the list. just pretend it okay good morning good morning i have to do some voiceover work and some pickups today um for the show so i have to do like my full face but i was thinking about this last night and i just didn't post it because it was like they've had to get down she's about to gouge her eye out anyways um mascara primer i haven't used it since high school i think i tried it like one time and i think it was just because it was another step i was like nah i don't like it and the white kept showing through the mascara anyway is it worth it? Do you like mascara primer? I don't want it to look like cakey. I do like thick lashes, but I just want it to be cakey. Do you like it? Do you think it's overrated? Drop your favorite in the question box because I don't got nothing. Also, rambling redhead. It's all thanks to you. Thank you so much for posting my music. Your amazing followers have just been so incredibly kind to me. And uh, they're playing my music and it's thanks to you. And I'm just so thankful. Good morning, happy Tuesday. It's weird, I woke up thinking it was Wednesday, but I knew what I needed to do for Tuesday. It's like my to-do list didn't match up with my mental calendar, it was a thing to put on leggings today and all of my just plain black solid ones were dirty so I put on my Amazon um Lululemon coffee cats. I don't think I've shared these in a hot minute as far as just telling you how they fit other than like a DM asking for them. So I have on the camo ones um if you have a weird thing with like fabrics and feeling the seams like I do I strongly encourage you to try these. Um, Lululemon is the most luxurious fashion clothing item I own. It's like a hundred bucks for a pair of leggings and it's totally worth it to me because they're so dang soft. I'll link those after if you don't mind paying a hundred dollars for leggings. It is kind of ridiculous when I say it out loud. But again, it's just one of those things like I have to be comfortable. These are the closest thing to it. So soft, fit like a glove, but the biggest part is you cannot feel the seams. That's what makes it a break it for me. If I can feel the seam, I'm like a child. I'm gonna flip it inside out. I'm gonna link the $98 ones. Um, to, obviously, I didn't get to my hair before I thought we were filming. I'll link the $98 ones here if you like buying fancy clothing. You know your girl's cheap, but I will spend it on Tatcha and these leggings. They're so dang good. Other than that though, it's Old Navy and American Eagle sales. Now it is time to clean out the fridge. I also wanna make um, a, a gluten-free, dairy-free chili mac in the foodie. I am just gonna share the chicken recipe right now because the footage of last night is so chaotic and I'm not saying I won't share it just for entertainment purposes, but <laughs> I feel like a lot of people are like, I just want the recipe. Um, super, super simple, gluten-free chicken. And I used it at the air fryer function. Um, so if you have an air fryer, you can do this. You take little chicken breasts. I cut the chicken breasts because they were big into four pieces. You dip it in flour, which gluten-free i used this the almond flour um i'll also share i picked some thrive what am i trying to say i picked my thrive <laughs> i picked my thrive picks for gluten-free dairy-free with sauces and stuff because those are kind of hard to find so after this i will um share my thrive picks too but i got this from my thrive box um and then you dip it in flour then you dip it in egg the chicken cutlet thing then you dip it in gluten-free breadcrumbs I did put seasoning in the gluten-free bread crumbs. I put Italian seasoning and I think it's like Montreal chick chicken spice 
in the breadcrumbs. So if you do seasoning, put that in the breadcrumbs and give it a good stir. And that way you get all your seasons evenly dispersed on the chicken. I'm trying to remember how I did it. I didn't write it down. Um, okay, so you do the air, the air crisp mode right here. And then I did temperature 375. And then I did 20 minutes because it takes a little bit to heat up or whatnot. 20 minutes, walked away, and it was done. I don't know if y'all can eat fried chicken or crispy chicken um, plain. I cannot. I just think it tastes so dry. I have to have sauces. And so I had like four sauces out last night. But I was so mad because I forgot to try the buffalo ranch. So I have a few more tenders left and I'm gonna try it but let me show you guys the sauces if you are gluten-free dairy-free because I feel like they're really hard to find so I haven't tried this one yet this is um, whole 30 ranch ketchup unsweetened this I just got from Target it's really really good honey mustard and then this one I like a lot it's pizza ranch um, it's made with sunflower oil so it does have a little bit of a different um, consistency it's more oil based um, Mike is not a fan of it but I think it's because he's not as desperate as me to find sauces that I can eat so I really like it it's got a kick to it I'm in the thick of organizing and cleaning the fridge, and I just wanted to share this again. The secret to an easy, easy clean out drawer to where all you have to do is give it a little wipe down. You don't have to soak it or like wash it in the sink, is using these tubs. Get tubs and put anything that could shred, break apart, make a mess, maybe open bags that could potentially leak. Put it in a bin, and that way all you have to do is lift out the bin and rinse the bin off. You don't have to like mess with the entire drawer. It looks so much better because there's not very much in here. We need to go grocery shopping like pronto. We need to have some stuff delivered. I am going to attach my Amazon organizational list because it has this, 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 those two things, that, all the things that I use to organize. It also has like my makeup organizers, just anything organization that I've bought from Amazon, I linked there. But I love the Lazy Susan. This is all stuff that I can have. I tend to put the um, meats in bins too because they leak from time to time and that way you have the same thing. You don't have it like all over. Um, also, I put meats out in front of my face and that way they don't spoil because I feel like we throw out meat more than anything um, if we don't use it because it goes bad quickly. So put the meats here, that way we don't have a lot of waste. And then I also do a little section for uh, leftovers. So like stuff we need to eat and that way it's in front of our face. Mike can see it, I can see it, and hopefully we consume that before we waste that food.